What's up guys, Puppy here, bringing you a video today on how to make tons of gold in World of Warcraft Wallet of Draenor. This is currently patch 6.0.3, but I'm assuming this will go out for the rest of the expansion. I can't see this one changing, and there's no real reason for Blizzard to patch this. It's going to be a pretty safe way to make money for the rest of the expansion at least. And this one is going to involve tailoring, guys. But because of the way professions work now in Wallet of Draenor, basically any profession-based gold-making guide is 100% relevant because you can just pick up the usually the profession and be able to make the things you need to make immediately minus it through a few things you need to change now this one is going to involve your tailoring emporium in your garrison now make sure guys you pick this up and upgrade it as much as possible as soon as possible the reason you're going to want to do that is for this reason right here doing your hex weave cloth uh or work orders now the reason you want to do work orders is because you're going to need as much hex weave cloth as possible so make sure, before I even tell you how to make the gold, you get this Emporium, and you immediately start making this X-Weave Cloth. I will show you where to get the Sumptuous Fur in just a moment, after I explain how we're going to make all of our gold. Now basically, when you get up uh, tailoring, you're going to have the ability to learn the recipes immediately, no matter what your skill level is. There's going to be one recipe that tells you uh, something like hex weave bag, small hex weave bag, large hex weave bag, something like that. It's going to cost five of these secrets of Draenor tailoring. So this is going to be your first priority besides the hex weave cloth is going to be making these bad boys right here. So make sure you have enough sumptuous fur to make one of these a day for five days straight. But do not just sit around doing this. Make sure you are farming your hex weave cloth and you are doing your uh, work orders per day for this uh for your tailoring and getting your hex weave cloth because to make our bags it's going to cost a fair amount of stuff now the reason uh you want to start farming early is for this reason right here you need a hundred hex weave cloth now these are not able to be bought from the auction house guys so you're gonna have to farm these yourself 100 percent the sorcerer's art it's not that hard to get you can buy it off the auction house if you wanted to and you can do whatever the fuck you want with that that's no problem but as far as the hex with cloth is concerned, you want to make sure you want to make sure that you start following this as soon as possible. As you see here, I've only made one bag ever, and this is immediately I'm gonna have 37 stuff to go. Keep in mind, guys, you can absolutely do this on every single character you have that's 90 plus. Absolutely do this on every character that's 90 plus, because the, the idea that you can just go and get your tailoring immediately and then start working on this is absolutely no problem. You just do the work artists every day and you're making a shitload gold more and more per each character on your account. Now what I'm showing you here is where to farm the sumptuous fur. So if you come down here you're gonna find a spot where there's just level 90 wolves all around. Even as a disc priest I can easily pull all these wolves and this will allow me to pick up as much as possible and they're going to respawn insanely quick. Insanely quick. I don't know if the respawn is going to get nerfed in the future. I think this is more of like a release respawn timer because they do respawn that quickly that I think it's a bit of a, almost a bit of a bug at this point. But you just want to pull all these wolves, kill them dead, and then once they're on the ground and they're lootable, you're going to lose as many as possible. And once that's dead, this priest, like I said, but a bit shitty DPS. I had 17 sumptuous fur from just that one pool, guys. So naturally, the farming isn't that hard. I have 63 at the moment just from not really even doing anything, just from going down and trying to chill it out. But there's wolves over the back corner there, and there's wolves right here. You may find that this place is farmed every now and then, but it, as far as you, like, as you can see here, I usually come here and there's not many people here at all. I don't know if many people realize that this is such an easy way to make gold on WoW. So once that's all said and done, guys, and you have the Sunders Fur, you have the Hex Weave, all you're going to want to do is go to your Hex Weave Cloth and make your first bag. Now, once you make your first bag, you're gonna be super excited. You might even want to use it on yourself. I recommend not using the bag immediately on yourself, instead making the gold first, and then making your own bags later. And yet again, if you make a lot of your characters that are above 90 uh, and have a garrison that have the ability to do a tailoring profession, you're going to be able to make a lot more, a lot more of these bags that sell for so much on the auction house. And as you can see here, guys, the cheapest bag on the auction house on my server is going for about 6k gold for one bag. That's for one bag, and I can guarantee to you that they, they sell. And not only that, the supply is not that much, because as you can see here, not many people I find are doing this. And if they are doing this, they're doing it on one character where it takes a long time to farm up the bag. So you have the potential of making a lot, and I mean a lot of gold, if you do this on multiple characters. But even if you're just doing it on the one, you're going to be making about, I'm going to say... 10k let's say 10k every 
uh, week or so, basically, if you stick to your to your uh, professions and stuff like that. It's not like an ultimate gold farming guy where you're gonna be making this amount of gold an hour, but this is definitely a nice way to make a lot of gold for just doing a little bit of farming a day and putting in some work orders at your garrison. Hope this video helps you guys. I'm gonna make a lot of gold. I'm gonna be definitely using this one in the future. Have you day out of the year, guys. Like the video if this helped you out at all, and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.